No, I went on some guy's um, IG, some guy called Mwahi. And Mwahi. I was like, whoa, this guy is fine. Yeah. Who is this guy, right? Yeah. And I'm just like, we eat. I've never seen him anywhere. Right, right. But I think he's in Botswana. How about, how about we, we ask him? Because, we want to ask him? Because he's here. He's here? He's here. What do you mean he's here? He's in the building? Mwahi is here. You're lying. Why is he here? Yo, Mwahi, come through, man. What's going on, son? No, dude, what do you do? Huh? No freaking ways. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah. Can you ask Lizozo how it feels to be that beautiful? <laughs> hey. I'm sure it must be painful somehow. What so I mean? need clarity. How does it feel being this beautiful? Listen, and I'm not, single. I don't even talk. One highly I'm single one. I'm bothered because I'm not for the streets. I don't like the streets. I'm not enjoying it here. But also there are no men. Like, Smash or pass? <sighs> He's an amazing host and host and he's going to have many more amazing people on his show. And I just hope that you guys grow with him on his journey. And you know, we never know how big this is going to get. So yeah. let's just see where you take this. Take this juice to an O, 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 All right. Kale, he took a mole. He took a mole le di pino. Ke na le mwa kata taro. Ke beta komedi marabo. Bizo la me ke go felo. Ke bata go tona le tempo. Ke bata go tona kalefo. Ke spana ka tata ki tinto. And my name is TK808 is your time Gap City B Dub Africa the rest of the world Good morning and welcome to the Juice 2.0 Your favorite show Now on the count of three Juicy one, two, three Juicy uh, I'm still alone And it's 20 plenty three Still doing this alone, but it's all good because I'm happy and I'm excited. Why are you excited, TK? Because my guest in the building is an award-winning radio star. I repeat, is an award-winning radio star, and she's an MC. She's a journalist. She's a makeup artist. I'm told. We'll find out so much about that as well. But it's so much more, so much more, man. I need you to put your hands together and help me welcome, help me welcome the wonderful, the sensational, the ever so talented. Gifted Kedi Mulusiwa, aka Lizotti, aka Lizozo. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to the Juice 2.0. Good morning, TK. How that you was do? a wonderful introduction. I think that's really good. You did your research. I'm proud of you. I had to. I am very proud. I had to because it's you, you know, for people <laughs> like you, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta come correct. I love it. How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah? How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Just trying to, you know, make sure that this finally happens. The conversation that I've so wanted to happen for a minute. Okay. Because I try to bring people that are super, super amazing. And guess what? You're one of them. Oh, wow. Yeah. In case, in, case, in case you didn't know. I am very humbled and a good morning to all your listeners as well. Lovely. You look amazing, by the way. Thank you. Clearly, you made sure that you come correct to the juice to ways. Like, you know, <laughs> you know there's going to be light, there's camera, there's, there's the whole production here. So you have to look the part. You know what's crazy? I've actually never seen you with longer hair oh. all my life. And I started wow. knowing you uh, just recently. Okay. I think in a year and a half. Yeah. I've never seen you with longer hair. What's going on? Um, I've always had short hair I think for the most part of my life yeah actually I was looking at my old pictures when I was a kid and from standard three yeah. I had short hair right um I grew my hair right. and then I think around high school now after high school that is after LKC mm -hmm. when I finished my form five right after prom yeah I went and did a mohawk <laughs> and then I think ever since then, I've always just had the bob cut, ah, the mohawk, and then the short hair. And you, so it's and you just wear, been that. And you wear it proper, man. It's the best look. And I think everybody else that should do this has a whole lot of competition, you know? Who was your prom date, bro? My prom date? Yeah. Um, some guy called Tato Mahapa. Tato Mahapa. Yeah. Where is he? I don't know where he is. Do hey? you guys still talk? No? No? Wow. I don't talk to Tato. <laughs> yeah. Um... But we're also family friends. Our dads know each other. So oh, yeah. we got to learn about that years ago as well. Right, uh, right, but I haven't right. spoken to him in a while. I haven't seen him in a while too. Yeah. I was actually wondering where he was the Tato. other day. Yo, Tato. Like, where is Tato? Tato, where you at, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Look, big congratulations going out to you for winning radio personality at the Pula Power Awards. Thank you. Big congratulations. How did that feel? How does Thank it you. feel? Um... It feels good. Yeah. It feels good because you feel like you're seen. 
you recognition, feel like, yeah, 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 you feel like, okay, so people know what I'm doing, people believe in what I'm doing, people listen to what I'm doing. That's right, and, that's right. you know, it, it's, it's, it's really validating. Yeah. yeah. And I, I was looking at it, I was like, wondering, who are part of the nominees? Because I actually never got to find out, right? Who are you going against with? No, there were no nominees, actually. Oh, for real? Yeah, the guys just reached out to me and said, hey, listen, you are radio personality wow. of the year yeah. or best radio personality and we just wanted to give you your flowers. You're doing really incredible work. That's beautiful. So there you go. Yeah, and yeah. then I asked about, okay, so is there like money? Because that's <laughs> always my first question. Like, what am I getting out of this thing? Is there money? Because I, you know, I didn't know about it either. Of course. Yeah. And then they're like, no, but we're still kind of working on it. We just wanted to start this off as our first installment to just give credit yeah. to all the entertainers in the industry and we just yeah. wanted to say, you know, you guys are doing incredible and I love that. yeah, that's really what it was. Your journey is beautiful, dude. Your journey is so beautiful. And for a lot of people that don't know, I need you to tell them how it started. But this is the bit that I know. Yeah. It was around 2015. Yes. And uh, and the full circle story is Gab's FM is actually part of your beginning story. Yeah. The desire to be on radio. Yeah. Because you used to listen to this track right here. I'm told. Man, I'm so excited. The Point Sisters on the Juice 2.0. We had to take you back, way back into back in time. How? And this is, I know. I know. What is this? <laughs> this is a trap. It's, huh? my, it's my bad. This is nostalgia for me. Yeah? I listened to the song, and mind you, I didn't even know who the artists were. It was oh, yeah. just the feel-good track in the morning. I, I had no idea who was doing breakfast on Gab's FM because yeah. it was when I was getting ready to go to school. Right, right, right. So this was around... Um, I was a teenager. Okay. So it was around... I think 12, 13. 12, 13. 13, around that time. Yeah. Because then I think I started listening to a lot of Yarn FM from then on. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. But actually, fun fact, I was on Gab's FM when I was a child. We did um, UNICEF's uh, children, I don't know what wow. it was. It was like a children's program. Wow. So I was one of the few that was selected to come on Gabs FM. Yeah. And this is back when Gabs FM was at old industrial yes, yes, uh, yes. Lobatze side, that that um that area. Yes. So I think then I was like doing sign at five, six. So that's like where my radio journey really it's crazy. began. It's yeah. crazy. That's why I'd say it's a full circle because your beginning story brings you here today, 2023, after winning awards for radio. Yep. It's, it's a beautiful story. Wow. But you also told the story of how you made your demos before you started on Yaron FM, how the car died on your way to dropping oh the demo. Oh my gosh, dude, it was, it, was, it was bad. It, was, it wasn't even that. I yeah. lost my memory stick. Oh yeah, the mem- memory yeah. stick. Yeah, I didn't right. know where my memory stick was and that's where my demo was. <laughs> and then there was no power. Yeah. And then I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so can I was like, whoa. So I was like, whoa. So I was like, whoa. So can now you I'm sending and then my friend quickly tells me, No, you can get your demo via email. Yeah, and then yeah. I tell Schema, Schema, please email me that thing. Course, and then yeah. I went and I went to Internet Cafe in Main Mall, yeah. had it burnt on a CD, then I put it together in the envelope. Yeah. Then I went to Yarna FM. But then it was late. So oh, when I yeah. got to the reception desk, um, the lady was just like, Listen, no, she's, she was not having it. It's after five already. <laughs> and I said, Listen, you need to take my demo, please. Yeah, yeah. I begged her, I said, Please take it. This is around 2015. This is 2015. You know what? You and I share so many things in common, man. Yeah. So many similarities because my story is pretty much the same thing. I think I saw you there too. I was there. Yeah, on and the I, staircase. Yeah, I dropped my demo there, but yeah, I guess you are the best person to <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> I mean, here we are with younger boys. <laughs> you know what I mean. But the story is that before I even did that, uh, but this one was for Gab's FM, right? Mm-hmm. Went to the studio, got my, my demo, car died on the road. On my way to dropping it down. Yeah. Car, uh, car died. I finally made it, but it was late. Oh, no. So then they say, you know what? Hey, dude, we say this time. Look at what time it is. But then some guy, I forgot his name, forgot, even forgot how what he looks like. Uh, just say, look, bro, um, we'll take an exception. Hey, There's always those people. And I feel like that's, those, that's just God right I, there. Yep. That's God. I, I also kind of feel like that's always God. Even even the, the desire or just you having the, the push factor that says yeah. no. And you keep begging yeah. because you're yeah. persistent. Like, you're I like, was like, please, listen, please, please, man. I had to do this. The car died. Explain the whole story. Blah, yes. blah, blah. Finally, they got it. And then the other part of that is that when they were listening to every person's demo, right? 
my the the former station manager, Mr. Gabriel, said I was listening to everyone's demo and I was throwing everything away. I almost threw yours out, but then something told me, let me just give it a listen. Wow. And then the rest is interviews, training sessions, stand-ins. And then you have and all here of this. We are. So what you can you can relate, right? I I can. I, I absolutely get it. Yeah. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful story, but I'm really, really happy for your life. You are Kizozo Lizozo on air. Your radio show is amazing. I was listening to you yesterday, by the way, mm-hmm. and we had a little bit of chat here and there. What are some of the things that you feel now that you are where you are? Are the most memorable things about radio? It could be your best interview. Tell me about your best interview thus far. My best interview thus far? Yeah. I always go back to this very random uh-huh. interview, and I was so nervous right. because I didn't think I could pull it off. So I was standing in for Lungo on the famous brunch, Ooh. and there was an well, there was a thing that was happening where Cast was fighting the Ministry of Youth at the time. Okay, and this was after his walk. Right. Um. And then he was now going off. I think it was on social media or something, talking mm-hmm. about how the ministry doesn't support him, and basically just um talking a lot of I think crap is yeah. the best word to use right, about right. the minister. Right. Um, and then our then PM Izzy was like, get cast on air, get the minister on air. Whoa. And I was like, are you sure? Kind of all happening, right? During the, the whole thing when it's Whoa. happening. So I'm just like, well, are you sure about this? Yeah. Can I do this? Because now you start doubting yourself. You're like, okay, do I have the ability? Are they going to answer their calls? Are they going to be keen? Mm. And believe it or not, they, they both answered. I talked to cast. Yeah. And then we had the interview. Right after that, I'm like, okay, let's get the minister's views. I call him right there then, Len. And he's like, listen, I can talk to you. What's up? And then I ask him about that. I'm like, listen, let's go up on air. Let's have the conversation. And then he, he answered the questions. Wow. And it was like, whoa. That's beautiful, So dude. for me, I was like, wow, Giddy, you managed to pull that off. Yeah, and yeah. it was during that time. You know how you have, you're supposed to prep for your show? Yeah, yeah. There was no prep. It was just the thing that happened right there and then because it's radio and it's immediate and you have yeah, to get a reaction right there, right what's there. happening. Yeah. So I think that for me was like a really brave moment. Yeah. And I, I was very proud of myself. And so was my boss then as well. He was just like, wow, you did that. Amazing. Well done. And then recently you had a conversation with Scar. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> and you started crying on yeah. it. Yeah. Because I, I, Scott, I bought this album, the open bar album. Listen, the open dude, bar album. I was in high school, and you know we don't have money. We have pocket money, and I saved up for that album. Before so. you continue, I just want, I just want to give you your flowers, man, because that was such a radio moment. I'm told about radio moments, yeah, where you just get real and you let it flow. Mm-hmm. You were just giving him his flowers and you were telling the story about how you bought the album, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And tears just started flowing yeah, down. Yeah, it was super emotional Such a radio moment. It was super emotional. Because you're looking at this guy now and you're like, whoa. Yeah. So this is the same person I would listen to their music. I would see them yeah. on television. Yeah. And I get to interview them. I get to work with them. Sometimes we take those things for granted. Yeah, yeah, We yeah. think, right. but that's a superstar, fam. Like, that's a big deal. That's yeah. a legend. That's an icon. Do you feel like people underrate him or he's underrated and people don't give him his flowers? But Yes, especially BW Twitter. Is it justified? Um... To some extent, yeah, but also people just kind of need to understand that Scar Glijita. Right. Right, right, right. So even sometimes, I think, yeah, sometimes he is problematic, but other times he's just genuinely joking. Ah. But because people just don't like you or they have a problem with you, right. they'll always have some sort of negative things to say. Yeah, yeah, whereas yeah. if it was somebody else who is deemed a fave, <laughs> they would simply just laugh along with them. I get so that. it's it's about who you are. Yeah. And that's crazy. That's crazy. Let's go back to uh, you winning an award, right? Uh-huh. Does that help you with or against an imposter syndrome? The fact that you feel sometimes you're not good enough? No, it puts more pressure on you. You feel like, oh, yeah. I mean, where I'm at right now, I'm like, wow, okay, so you won an award. So it means you have to level up. It means you need to get better. Ah. It means you need to definitely try get another one this year. Another one. Try to get more sort of thing. So it puts a lot of pressure on you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it, it helps because sometimes when you feel like, man, I'm not good enough, you have that thing to remind you. But dude, 
You've been doing this thing for so long. For a minute. Yeah. It's almost seven years now, yeah? Yeah. It's, it's, it's been a long time. There's a message over here. Big shout out going out to you. We didn't get your name, but please put your name the next time you text me so we get personal. Can you ask Lizozo how it feels to be that beautiful? <laughs> hey. I'm sure it must be painful somehow. What so I mean? need clarity. Please clarify it for the people. How does it feel being this beautiful? Listen, I'm and not, single. I don't even talk. Because I'm not for the streets. I don't <laughs> like the streets. I'm not enjoying it here. But also, there are no men. Like, they are men. They're not there. You're probably too picky, bro. I am. Also, I get turned off very easily. Like, this, like the slightest thing can yeah. just be like, listen... That's your view on something? Well, okay, that, that means you're not for me. Right, right. So I think I'm picking that stuff. But um, back to the question of being beautiful. Listen, I don't wake up feeling beautiful mm -hmm. every day. Yeah. I have dark under eye circles. Mm -hmm. And when I don't have makeup on, people always ask me, Are you tired? Oh. Did you get sleep? Oh. Why do you look like you're tired? Yeah. And it's just like, I don't look like I'm tired. I yeah. look like myself. Right, right, right. This is what I look like when I don't have makeup on. It's just that you haven't seen a woman that has dark under eye circles oh yeah now you think there's something wrong yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so Dude. i don't feel beautiful all the time so i have to use makeup i guess you ah, know yeah here there. but I, I i i don't wear makeup all the time oh yeah but it also doesn't mean i i don't feel like i'm beautiful without makeup right right it's just telling you that listen this is how i look without it and you need to get used to it because i am and i don't want to keep explaining myself that i'm not tired i'm okay this is just how i look yeah it gets tiring sometimes having yeah. to explain all the time oh my goodness A26 is your time you're on the juice 2.0 let's pick out this phone call find out what they want to say good morning you're live on air all right uh we lost you please try again 7 A26 is your time let's play some music and then we're back with mo getty lizotti aka Lizozo! Yeah, <laughs> Juice 2.0 and I'm chilling with none but the greatest award-winning radio star. KD is in the building. Lizozo is in the building. And we're just catching up, just trying to find out, like, yo, just how awesome are you, dude? And she's really awesome. Dude, I posted a question on my Instagram story and I was like, name top five of your hottest, <laughs> top, top five hottest brothers in B-Dub, yeah? <laughs> And then what did you reply and say? <laughs> Tell the people. What if this changes like next year or like in a month? Well, yesterday's like prize. Yesterday's prize. Weeks. Yesterday's prize. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went on some guy's um, IG. Some guy called Mwahi. And Mwahi. I was like, whoa, this guy's fine. Yeah. Who is this guy, right? Yeah. And I'm just like, I've never seen him anywhere. Right, right. But I think he's in Botswana. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's really cute. Yeah? Yeah. So if you ever meet him, ever met him, that's the English, right? What would you what would you say? What would you do? I don't know, because I have him go. I've, there's no way I'm going to talk to a man. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm very, very shy about the people that I like. <laughs> I will not approach people that I like. Yeah. I would rather somebody else asks on my behalf. And that's what I normally prefer. Also, I, wanna, I think I want to know if you are taken or not first. Oh, yeah. I really don't want to go in there and be like, no, it's fine. I can steal you from this Han. I got it. Why don't you choose me? Right, uh -huh. right. I'm an award-winning radio I'm, star. I'm not about to compete with your girl and whatever. Listen, okay. I will just want to know, is he taken? Is he single? If he is single, great for me because it means, I mean, there's somehow I can talk to him now. I like but that. But if he's taken, it's like, listen... Deuces, I'm not doing this. I'm not about to yeah. have any talking stage with this person or try to convince them <laughs> to choose me over her yeah. because I'm not trying to get in that, in that drama. I have There's a lot to lose. How about, how about we, we ask him? Because, we want to ask him? Because he's here. He's here? He's here. What do you mean he's here? He's here, here. He's in the building? Moachi is here. You're lying. Why is he here? Yo, Moachi, come through, man. What's going on, son? No, dude, what you do? Huh? No freaking ways. Oh my gosh, dude. He's here. What? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Is he single though? Well, you're going to ask him. He's hey. go He's actually going to sit here where I'm sitting. Dude, what, what is this? And I hope this? I don't get in trouble with it. And oh my gosh. And you get to chat with the dude. I'm so nervous. Oh my word. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Oh, TK Ra. I know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope you should see good. him. You should I see. I hope he smells good. He better smell good. Adi, he better smell good. What's up, son? <laughs> Yo, come, come this oh side. Come goodness. this. Do you guys want to hug? Do you guys want to hug? Or I, mean, I definitely want yeah, to hug please, him. Yeah, please, please, yeah. I mean, I want to feel his body. Hey, get. 
Hi. Hi. Oh, you have a nice body. All right, Mahi, come, come this side, man. Matung, this is just weird. For a second. Yeah, just come here. Come, come see where I'm sitting. Just this for for like for like five minutes. She wants to talk to you. So, yeah. Just go ahead, oh my man. god, guys! Can't we rather like never There you go. Hi, oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Hi, how are you, Mahi? Ah, nice to meet you all. Hi. So what happened? How did Tiki get you here? Ah. It was crazy in the morning. I think I was around 1 a.m. This is on Instagram and he's like, hey, what's up? Uh, one, two, three. You know, you usually get those um, sperms or so. I was like, hey, this nigga. So he put out like a voice note or so. And I was like, <laughs> okay. And he's like, yo, bro, um, there's this girl, blah, 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 blah. And then here I am, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I didn't want to go through with it. But I have a friend I actually work with. He actually told me about you, like, I think a day before. So, so I was like, yeah, let's just do it for the girl. Okay. Wow, that's very interesting. No, it's yeah. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. First things first, are you single? Yes, I am. Why did you think Wait, about it? I post you because had it's, to it's, think about it's it. three weeks, bro. It's been three you weeks. You had to I'm think about it, I'm three weeks single. It's three weeks. So it means you're still talking to her? No, 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 no. Officially one week now. I'm not talking to her now. Uh-huh. Yes, man. And how does it feel? Are you still, like, hurting? Nah, Obviously, you are. Nah, nah. I was hurting for the first two weeks. What happened, though? It's, it happened, bro. It happened. What happened? It happened. What did you do? You know, we go on and off and stuff. What did you Obviously, do? Obviously, guys cheat. Oh my god! No, no, no! It's, it's <laughs> not about. It's not about guys cheating. I'm just, I just want to okay, know. Okay, I did what something happened? bad to her like a week, year, this is, you know, a month. No, no, not a month. A year back. Uh huh. And we talked about it after we dealt with it, but it kept on coming and coming. So officially, it ended, man. Did something to her? Um, I cheated, bro. You cheated? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's a red flag. Yeah, I know, man. So, you know you cheated. It's a new year, man. Yeah, We've been real, bro. Like, no, a... I've cheated before, but that was years ago. Oh, you, yeah. You see, you see what I mean? I'm being real yeah. about it. Do you want me to lie to you about it? No, no, no. no. I, I and I appreciate that. I, I appreciate yeah. your honesty because I don't like liars. I don't like being lied to either because I will find out. Okay. Yeah. So, it's, it's great to know that. So, are you proposing that we might date? That's what you're saying? You'll find out? What? Not? Yeah, Do you want to date yeah, me? Yeah, she said she will find out. Do you want to date me? I would like to date you. Really? If you are. Are you single though? I am. Oh, okay. But I'm a very strong She's woman. Strong woman. I'm strong and I'm stern. I love strong women. So if you are like a nice guy, then it's it's not going to work out because you'd be too nice. You'd so be I should like, be strong too? I thought... Yes, yeah, you're supposed to be a man. This is a track, man. I get that, but you're supposed to be a man too. Do you have money? Ah, no. Ah! Ah, aha, came into that post. <laughs> I actually saw your post say a man has to have pata or so something. Or yeah, so. it was a, it was so a I was like, post. nah, next. Because I'm still working on my pata. Aha. <laughs> so uh-huh. so it means I'm going to be paying for dates? No, no. Working means uh, I'll be paying for dates, obviously. Come on, man. Okay. I mean, like, there are certain extents of, um, you know, vacations also. I'll be like, yo, yeah. So I got to pay like 70%. You got to like pay yes. like 80% type uh-huh. of thing. Type uh-huh. of thing. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to be like, yo, babe, uh, I got a full vacation for you and type of thing. Like You're I said, I'm being an that? honest man. How old are you? I'm 32. You're 32? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What do you do for a living? Uh, reservations at Hilton Garden Inn. Aha. Uh-huh. Oh, you just revealed all that information on national radio. <laughs> Yes, Sorry, that's what it I happens. Do, it's yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. No, nice to meet you, though, Mahi. Nice to meet you too. I think nice you're a really good-looking person. Uh, you too, man. Thanks. Thank you so much. Look, my, my brother, help her. Ha! <laughs> She's painfully guy, single. Painfully, ne? No, dude, come on. Mahi, no, it's not my like painful okay. life. I'll just get her number right like now. Like I'm so. dying. You gonna get her number? Why not? Yeah. KD, God has done His thing. <laughs> We're not go the extra mile. My brother, appreciate God must so give much, him more man. money. Also, so All right, stick around, man. stick <laughs> around, no <laughs> problem, man. I'm definitely. I really appreciate this for real, because he came through. I thought he was joking, there, and he actually came through. And uh, the rest are babies and marriage and all of that. You're welcome. This is very interesting, TK. I mean, this is wild, actually. Yeah, did you this like it? This is very wild. Yeah. Yeah, but he looks the same as he does on pictures, so that's good. So you're happy. You happy? Yeah, because the people that look terrible, catfish. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. So there's a hope for for a date. Yeah, we could go on a date. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's and nice. we'll see where that happens or what happens next. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm glad he's here for real. But let's talk about you, and then we'll get to the rest of everything. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Smash or pass. <sighs> Smash or pass. <laughs> Mm. Who are the people now? Baxin. Smash. 
Hey, you didn't hesitate. Listen. Huh? Baxton gave me this look once. Uh-huh. We were at some soccer tournament and I was just saying hi to him, just yeah. like a casual, "Hi, how are you?" And yeah. then he looked in my <laughs> eyes and I was like, "Dude, why do you have to look at me like that?" Yeah. That is very scary. Right, right. I like that. Okay. Yeah, so smash. So strong man, men that look at you in some scary type of way. That's, no, that's like it. men who are confident, that's what it is okay. because it, it's it's a confidence factor. It's oh, yeah. I'm not yeah. afraid to look at you in the eye right, and right. stare in your eyes. Ah, yeah, okay. I'm not intimidated by you. I'm not scared of oh, that's you. That's dope. That's yeah, dope. Yeah, so kinda, that's what it is. It's kind of sexy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. DJ Sway? Pass. Pass. Jordan Moosey? Pass. Pass. Balaclava? <sighs> Hey yo, Balakwa. in the middle. Hey, like a hood or not? Yeah, you, you can do that. You can do that. I think because of his body, it will be a smash. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's your body type. That's that's your preference right there. Um. Yeah, I'm kind of letting go of the body type I used to like. Oh I yeah. Used to like, well, I used to be attracted to guys who are like bigger, not yeah, like yeah. like slightly chubby. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. And now I'm like, you know what, Giddy, Zahu, just get people who are as fit as you are. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I so, like that. So that's that's where I'm at like mentally or like yeah, in terms of like who I'm seeing now, who I'm looking at. Oh yeah. Who I have eyes for. Definitely. Yeah. TK. <laughs> I would smash. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the show is over. <laughs> That's exactly what you want. What you wanted to hear, Iker? Kya kya jo ka tha ranga pesa do. What was that though? What was that? What the heck was that? Wana katu deadly kana lita go. My friends told me to stay away from you. Amme. Hey. What what do they mean stay away from me? Kete to lo kote eh la. TK. Mhm. Um mon. So you were hoping to do something and then they told no, you no, to no. stay away. Ah, she that's just, that's the story right there. That's no, the wildest thing is they just said it and I was like but why are you guys talking about him like that because I don't see him like that yeah. but they were just like listen warning girl because we know you're single just like don't if you're thinking about it if the thought comes to you just don't do it and I said got it but yeah I wasn't thinking about him like that but got it whatever <laughs> ATI no pass pass all right so your crush is definitely this guy but do you have a celebrity crush I'm not on the celebrity list celebrity crush in, in Botswana yep Celebrity crush, celebrity crush in Botswana. I I don't really I don't think so. Yeah. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. At all. Mm. Mm. That's crazy. I don't think so. Yeah. I think, but I think Melo is really attractive. Uh huh. He's, he's he's a handsome man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't know who else though that I could think of. Also, because that's my type. I like handsome guys. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like a man that just looks good. Like I could look at your face all day. Every day. That sort of thing. And then internationally, who could you really fall in love with and just you know kick it? Internationally. Yeah. I actually don't idolize like men like that, hey. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, I that's really. Dope. But I really, I think I have a thing for J Cole. Ah, J. Yeah, J Cole is 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 really fine. Dude, what people don't know about you is that you're such a church girl. Of course. Tell me about your church life, your spiritual life. Tell me about that. Um, it definitely exists because you post Bible verses. Yep. You tell people that you're going to church. You yep. tell people church was great, but it ended a little late than I expected. Yeah. Blah blah blah. Yeah. And I see all these things. I'm like, hmm. What's your favorite Bible scripture? Scripture verse. Blah, Jeremiah blah. twenty nine eleven. The for one I know that talks the about, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans yeah. to prosper you. And yeah, I I love I love that verse because. It really soothes you. It really helps you when you're yeah. going through anxiety, right, right. especially with me, because I suffer from anxiety. Why do you? How um, do you? I don't know. I worry. Also, a lot. also the question is is to presuppose that people that suffer from that should know why they suffer it, and sometimes yes. it's, it's very hard. You know what it is for me. What I yeah. picked up or what I got to learn from it is I I worry. I generally have a worry issue, oh. and I think about what could go wrong. A lot more than what could go good. Ah. So that's why um, I always want to know because yeah. I don't want to find out. Right, right. I'd right. rather I know what could go wrong now uh-huh. and like deal with it, and you know, yeah. as opposed to you know later on. Right. So in that way, I'm like, 
I'm super weird out, especially with like health. If oh. I feel like, uh uh-uh, uh, where's this cough coming from? I'm going to go to the doctor. Are you I serious? Like, okay, this foot <laughs> thing has been going on for too long. Yeah. I need to go to a doctor. Because I think, oh my gosh, because when you Google your symptoms, they tell you, hey, it's cancer, bro. You're like, oh my gosh, I have six months to live. Uh, then I have that thing that's that's happening. Yeah. But if I go to a doctor and she tells me, no, you just need this treatment, that treatment, you're going to be good, you're fine. And yeah. I go back, I do my tests and everything. So, yeah, yeah it's... It's 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 really annoying though. I really am trying to deal with it, so I go right. for therapy a of lot. Course, of yeah, course, yeah, because of that issue that I have with it. Yeah. And then church church also gives you that kind of comfort. It does. And peace. Church to talking to God, dude, praying, dude. worshiping. It really helps. Yeah. 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 And I I'm a Catholic actually. I'm a born Catholic. Oh, that's beautiful. I've been baptized, confirmed, yeah, yeah. Holy Communion, everything. My yeah. family is Catholic as well. Um, but every now and then I go to a church called Kingdom City. I think that's really helped it's beautiful. with my Block eight. spirituality. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. really helped because, because it's, it's teaching me, the word. And it's drawn me closer to God on a more um, personal level. It's yeah. not a now it's okay. I'm talking to God. I'm praying to you. I am telling you what I need. Mm-hmm. And I am also getting the comfort from you. I get, I with me when I pray, I cry. It, it oh, becomes yeah. very overwhelming. So yeah. I start crying and I break down and all of that. So that's how it's, deep it's it cleansing. Gets for it's me. cleansing when you start crying mm. in the presence of God and yeah. you're just worshiping and you're praising. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. How do you feel? What are your thoughts around sex before marriage? I am not for it. You're not for it? I am not for it, but. Um, I think because it's a natural thing that happens and um, if you do it, use protection, yeah. you know, know your status, know the status of the person that you're sleeping with. Right, right, right. Um, uh, yeah, I think it really helps you because I mean, you're going to have lots of it after marriage. <laughs> and I think it's very important for you to have a connection with somebody as well oh, on yeah. that level. Oh, yeah. not, not find out when you're now their wife Woo! and you're like, oh my gosh, it's terrible. It's too late. What's going to happen now? It's, it's too it's late. Too you know late. What I mean? So yeah, I, I think it's very important for you guys to have that sort of connection as well, but do it in a safe way. Yeah. 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 The best radio presenter in B-Dub, Kimang. Apart from you. Aha, I was just about to see myself. I mean, <laughs> nobody's better than me. Right. Um, Tabi Sotonyana. He's on Do My FM. What time to what time? He does, uh, was it, is it, is it, uh, he changed slots. So I think it's a uh, four to six now. Okay. Saturdays. Okay. He's really good. Tabi So. Yeah, that's a okay. friend of mine as well in the industry. Uh-huh. Um, He does a spectacular job. We always, I'll check him out. you know, talk and give each other advice. Yeah. Kago is also really good. Kago. Yeah. Our very own yeah. Kago. Kago. And that's my friend as well. So I'm going to like, I think I'm going to name people that I actually listen to and that yeah. are my friends. Dollar Mac. He's not my friend, but Dollar is Dollar's an amazing radio broadcaster. Phenomenal. Like, mm, phenomenal. Uh-uh, I, I need to let him know that. Yeah. He's amazing. Uh-huh. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's, that's really it. I mean, besides you also, because I think you're really great. I was listening to your show. I started listening to your show last year. You did yes, say, yeah, yes. you did say. And I was like, oh, okay. You were really impressive. You yeah. sound really good on air. You thanks, sound very thanks. natural as well. Thanks, man. Um, you ask good questions. Uh-huh. So, yeah, you are an all-round great presenter. I think you have a lot of potential. Appreciate <laughs> what I did there. <laughs> it's got a lot of potential. <laughs> there goes TK playing Cupid with the love of my life. Think now I have to step up my game. This one is coming from Raps. Ooh! Raps, yeah. Raps, raps, um, raps does raps. Kegel's show as raps, well. Raps, yeah. Oh, raps is the biggest question. So I'm apparently I'm, I'm busy shooting, you know, Yo, I, I get people who want to take me out on dates, but like they never really follow through with it. Oh, yeah. It's always a... Oh, but Moachi is going to do that. It's always oh, a... Oh, Moachi is... Oh, really? Oh, Moachi is good. It's yeah. always a DM that's always reading, yeah. hey, um, I think you're beautiful. Uh, can I take you out to lunch? Can I take you out for coffee? And then I think I'll probably reply with a, oh, okay, cool, or something. Yeah. And then it just never happens. Why so, do you think that happens, though? Is it some intimidation that flies around? Be. or yeah. I remember somebody actually DM me yesterday and they were asking me about makeup brushes because I posted my on my story that I want makeup brushes for my birthday. Which, mm-hmm. um, that's my birthday on the 1st of March. Yeah. So this guy DMs me about it and he's like, okay, where do I find them? And and I'm like, listen, it's literally on the page. Like, you have to do your homework. Let's try to get this. I don't like lazy pit. men. Like, why are you lazy? <laughs> Get the finger live on air. Yo. Good morning. TK, welcome back to 2023. How are you? I'm and great. The rest of the team. Happy, happy 2023, my leader. How are you? 
Very well. Everything is well. Great. Can I leave? Can I leave? Can I leave? Yeah, no. Kedi, do me like me. Let's end, Kedi. It's low. Hello. How are you, Kedi? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Everything is well. We are just happy to be in 2023. And we are happy that our lives now will come back to normal. Oh, get up easy. Rap easy. It's so good Thank to you, hear your brother. voice, Rapula. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Happy 2023 to you too. Oh, that is nice, so nice. Go. Yeah. That's yeah, that that's our loyal listener. It's crazy cuz I think most radio stations have those guys, yeah? Yeah. I think they they're like about five guys that you would listen to at Gabs FM. They call in and then the next time you hear them, they're calling in at Yarana FM. Yeah, that's Rapula for you. That's Rapula. And then yeah. there's a gentleman who I love so much. His name is Obi Twice. Obi twice. Obi twice also. Yes, yeah, so that happens um, too. Yeah. Yeah. I have a listener, Tato, from Lobate. Tato. She's always listening and she's always showing love. Yeah. I actually asked this week for a Tato guy because I was on air this week. I was back at work this week. Right. And I have never received a message from her, which I think is very weird because oh, yeah. she's always online. Right, right. And now I'm worried about it because I'm wondering, is she okay? Ah. Is she fine? Is she alive? I like that relationship that yeah. you have with the. Uh, I'm really worried about Tato. With your listeners, you know? Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Tell me about the craziest strangest thing that anyone someone has ever come up to you and said to you in the streets I've heard a rumor about how I slept my way to the top I've ah, heard shucks. how so I had reserved that for the last part I was I was doing um afternoon drive did you sleep your way up to I didn't you didn't which is what is strange because yeah. It's frustrating because you're like, wow, guys. So I spend sleepless nights. I grind. I work. I read. I I watch documentaries. I try to compile a lot of content. And then all you have to say about my work Your is hard that I'm, work. I'm sleeping to get to the top. It's just like, okay, listen. And it's not a thing of, okay, I'm looking down on people who do it. Right, it's right, just that right. if I'm putting in the work... Please give yeah. me that respect. Respect, respect Please, it. Please, yeah. at the very Put least, some respect, respect on the it. fact that I'm working. I'm not. I'm not doing things. I'm not. I'm not asking for handouts either. I'm like hitting people up and saying, "Listen, I want to work, and I can work, and I can do the work, and I have." And this is my track record. Yes, I have things to prove. You know what I right, mean? So right, right. I think that's very frustrating as as I a woman I, in the industry. Yeah, I, I I had said I was going to ask you in the last part because I saw a post from Daniel Kinosi mm-hmm. on Facebook, right? Yeah. And he was sort of painting a. He was sort of telling a story about some girl that may have been apparently sexually harassed at a radio oh, yes. station. I thought I saw that post too. At one of our yes. radio stations, yes. right? Yes, yes. And the picture that he post, uh, painted was most ladies yes. in the media or just the entertainment industry yes. are victims to all of these things. True. So I wanted to ask you: Can you relate to that? Yeah. To that post, you can. Yeah. It's it's harassment in the workplace. Yeah. And it's so annoying. Yeah, yeah. Because even if you try to report it, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Yeah, that's crazy, nobody, man. Nobody gets fired. Yeah. Nobody, nobody is given any warning. Right, right. You are just told, listen, it'll be fine. We'll deal with this matter, and then that's that's it. crazy, man. And you have nowhere else to go. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's either you leave, and that's you leaving your bread, your butter, your craft, your talent, yeah. your passion, yeah, over a man and yeah. what they want and. How much they annoy you all the time. Mm. So, what is it? It's it's a terrible situation for everyone that goes through. And that's why I think we need to have more women in these spaces. Right, right, right. Especially in the management, the leadership roles. We need to have women. Because the protection is needed. Women that are for women, because there's women who are not for women. You know what I mean? So, it has to be women that are going to be protective over other women. And who can say, listen. You will not be working the shift yeah. only one. There's yeah. going to be security. Right. There's going to be this person or we're going to hire this person for you. When you go home, we're going to make sure that you're home safe. You need to consider all those things when it comes to a woman. Right, right, yeah. right. I love that. You've been with the same radio station. We're about to wrap up, by the way. You've been with the same radio station for ever now, yeah? Yeah, for Are there any, literally uh, since I started. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any plans to move? Uh, what is the plan for your radio career? I think for me, it's... Uh, if there's more money, yeah, you stay I'm down. You stay in, yeah. I'm down. I like no, that. even just like leaving. If there's more money, oh, I'm yeah, down. Yeah. Wherever. Yeah. Because what what does the talking is the bag? Of course. Yes. Of course. So even for me, I I don't wanna be here yeah. forever. Yeah. I don't wanna be in Botswana forever. Dude, the way you're so loyal, you would think you're probably this loyal in a love relationship. I am. Oof. Which is why I have a problem with somebody who's cheated because Oof. it makes you wonder. If 
that's your maybe your shots your character but i do believe people do change cuz i change too yeah. but it takes maturity it takes learning and it takes yeah. being intentional as well what happened in your last relationship which was like last year in it it was very toxic how toxic was it he was a a toxic man manipulative um a low key narcissist as well oh yeah um and he gave off a good guy thing ah. so it's 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 that energy when it's with your family with your friends and then you know when you're alone you guys are fighting and then yeah. you know he would get angry at me and yeah. Yeah. he would yell at me and i would just be like yo my brother yeah. why must you be like this towards right. me right. i'm your right. partner like you can talk to me nicely we can have a co- decent conversation and stuff yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. so he had a lot of problems and he didn't want to deal with them uh, and i said dude you need to get therapy so that's another thing that i will not do in my next relationship right, right. we will not date if you haven't been to therapy or if you have these negative connotations about therapy or, right. or right. i'm a man i don't do that men don't it means you are going to come with problems and i don't want it. i'm not your mother right right I'm right, not, right i'm not going to make you better i'm not going to change you but i would <laughs> like and i appreciate if you do get the therapy because yeah. you need the help so he was struggling with um accepting that and working it on it right. instead you want to do it when i left the relationship and it's like ha 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 too late too late to apologize and that was two years it was that was two years. i was about time. to ask like how long had it been that was a long time two years yeah and we wanted to get married You know, oh, it man. was yeah. It was that deep? I would have liked to get married. Yeah, cuz I believed at this age I'm married. Yeah. That so, was like the ideal thing. So for for you obviously you had to choose your happiness. Of course. I imagine for some yes. people they struggle with choosing between, you know what, I want to get married but this person is such an animal. Yeah. Um what to do, you know, and they sort of try to strike a balance there and then they end up in a marriage relationship. with this person that never changed and then it's abuse and then it's you know, you know people die is? in that situation you know what it is uh-huh. my mother has always told me kid how ka ratana le monna e re le jola gontse a go chita a go betsa a go emotionally abusive towards you right it's hela gore ga o kanyalana le motho kwa go nna hela le monna la lona whatever is happening in your relationship it's is going to continue in your yeah, yeah, yeah. marriage yeah. so because i have that advice from mm, my loving mother right. i know to navigate things better i okay. know what to look out for yeah. okay so if i'm suggesting therapy yeah. and you think therapy is wrong then it means if i'm trying to get married to you and you have a problem and we has we have to go for counseling or therapy you're going to tell me i'm not doing that and then it's me who has to carry the relationship and carry the that's burdensome the, yes it's too much so i will not do that i like that you i like that you're, I I like that you're conscious mature person yeah. just like me yeah. who can express themselves right. who can be honest with themselves and right. who knows when they need help i like that yeah I so like that, that that's really where i'm coming from with it man i'm hoping that you know what you and mohi can kick it up and <laughs> you know <laughs> you know i'd be very happy and then your love story should include tk and gabs fm you know what i mean <laughs> we got a ad break coming your way from game in uh, five, five, five seconds yeah five seconds and then we come back with more KD and then we wrap up are nice. you ready to wrap it up because I'm ready to wrap it I just, up I just feel like it's too short and it we needed is. more time also we're broadcasters we talk a lot you talk a lot no we talk a lot no you talk a lot <laughs> <laughs> Lizozo how do we wrap up how do we wrap up the year just started TK uh-huh. um I think let's set goals for ourselves. Set goals, uh-huh. Um I'm a firm believer in writing your goals down. Okay. I have this book. Yeah. And that thing has worked so much for me. Right, right. Because when you look back at that, I literally tick my boxes. Mm. If I'm trying to buy something, I write it down. If right. I want this, I write it down. Right, right. So even with your goals, write your goals down. Mm-hmm. Whatever you're trying to pursue in the year, yeah. have it written down. Right. And actively pursue it. It's a Bible don't, scripture. Don't There's make scr- excuses Bible also. Bible verse. Yeah. yeah. There's What a Bible, the Bible verse, verse that, that talks about write the vision down. It's, yes. it's the Solomon vision yes. down. Yeah. Now I'm a firm believer in that. Yeah. So I feel like let's not make excuses anymore. Right. If you want to work on your body, mm-hmm. work on your body. Yeah. If you want to work on your mental health, mm-hmm. please do it. Yeah. If you want to work on, I don't know, whatever career or dream or path that right. you're trying to get into, yeah. please do it. Don't make any excuses. Mm-hmm. Pay for that thing. Right, right. Pay for it. <laughs> learn a language. Learn a skill. Uh-huh. Learn something. I'm trying to learn how to sew because I want to make my own clothes. Because oh, yeah, nice. yeah, do that. Oh, nice. <laughs> so yeah, everything is expensive. If I can try to anyway. learn that, that would be amazing. And uh, we're falling in love in 2023. 
I mean, God receive. willing. God willing. Receive. God willing. God willing. There's and no the, pressure. There's and, no rush. And the people are willing too. You know what I and mean? And people willing and, and also just God willing as well. <laughs> <laughs> God comes first but talk. I feel like God is what makes everything happen for everyone. So I love that. that that for me has worked wonders. Yeah, dude, yeah. I'm so honored to have sat down and chat with you. This was amazing. Thank you for uh, having me. You are such an amazing human. You're so talented. You're so gifted. And uh, you won that award for a reason. Yeah. So the fact that you would say it means you got to keep pushing. Yeah. I wish you so much greatness. Thank so you. much Godspeed. I Thank wish you. you so much love. And whatever is in your heart, may it be true for you. Thank you. And 2023, man, that's already yours. You know what I mean? So Amen. thank you for stopping by. Until next week, uh, where we see you on the visuals on the Juice 2.0 on a Tuesday. Oh, wow, it's going to be up. It's going to be up on Tuesday. Oh, wow. So let's see what the people will say. Okay. You know? I'm pretty sure they're going to love you, right? Right, guys? No, they I mean, will. It's Everybody you. loves me. Yeah. Yeah. People who hate me just have their own problems. Yeah. But What's there to hate about me? you? Exactly. What's there, to, What's hate there about? to hate about me? So thank you so much for stopping by. Where can people find you? At Lizozo on air on Instagram. How about on Twitter? Twitter, Lizozo on air. TikTok, Lizozo on air. Yep. Oh, you got TikTok, huh? Hey, I'm I'm out here pushing my TikTok. Dude, we should career. make we should make a TikTok yes. after this, right? A uh, Facebook KD Lizozo Mulusiwa. Dope. Yeah, that's it. All right, God bless you. Until next time, we we'll see each other. Stop blowing my WhatsApp, by the way. <laughs> hey. Just stop it. Over the horrible life, we get the feeling. Eight fifty-nine is your time. The news is coming up. Top of the hour. The wonderful two me is in the building. On the flip side of that, we give you the Ghanaian gentleman. I'm not too sure whose beard is longer between his and uh, Mix Kasangwa. Who's, who's, his, who's his longer? Man, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, but I'm talking about Joe, who's coming to handle business for oh, you. this is Joe. This is what he looks like. That's Joe, yeah. I thought that guy was light-skinned on, on air. Are you serious? I'm telling you, he speaks so, like, so soft. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, he must be a light-skinned man. <laughs> <laughs> Not I'm, not I'm not saying anything wrong is of course with light skin I get people, that I get but that but I just thought in my mind in my in my head I'm like okay yeah. this man is light skin he's chubby yeah now he he looks exactly the opposite the of opposite what I thought yeah. but that's radio people for you that's radio people that's for how we are. yeah apparently we look different than we sound it's, yeah. it's crazy but with me I know I'm still hot though uh, I'm still hot too I sound hot I look hot I sound that's hot facts. I look hot that's facts <laughs> nine on the dots. <laughs> Do me, take it away. Joe, coming your way. My name is TK. It's been such a pleasure. God bless you. Have a wonderful Saturday. Tomorrow we kick it again. Same time, same place on the count of three. Juicy. One, two, three. Juicy. What's going on, YouTube? My name is TK of the Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.